A negative unit feedback loop has a loop function L of S given here. When K equals 0 0.5 and tau equals to 1, we have L of S equals to 0 0.5 over S minus 1. The Nyquist plot of the function L of S is given here. The question is, is this system closed loop stable or unstable? To answer that question, we need the number of unstable poles in the open loop transfer function and the number of encirclements of a negative one in the Nyquist plot. Let's start with the number of unstable poles. L of S is the open loop transfer function in this unit feedback loop. We can clearly see here that there is one unstable pole because the pole of this transfer function is S equals to one. It's a positive number. The pole is located on the right side of the S plane, which means that a P, the number of unstable poles equals to one number of unstable poles of the open loop transfer function. The second thing we need is the number of encirclements of a negative one, that is n. How many times does the Nyquist plot encircles negative one? We see the negative one is here and the Nyquist plot crosses the real axis at 0 0.5, negative 0 0.5. So the number of encirclements in this case is zero. We can now determine the number of unstable poles in the closed loop transfer function through the Nyquist expression z equals to n plus p. z is the number of unstable poles in the closed loop system, and this will be equal to the number of encirclements of, ne of negative 1, that is 0, plus the number of unstable poles of the open loop transfer function z equals to 1. This means that if we put this system in a closed loop feedback system with a unit feedback, the closed loop system will have one unstable pole. This pole will be placed on the right side of the S plane. The system is unstable. If you want to make the system stable, what should we do? Well, for a system to be stable, Z needs to be equal to zero. How do we make Z zero? We need n to be negative 1 in this case, because p is 1. If n is negative 1, z is 0. There are no unstable poles of the closed loop system. How do we make n a negative 1? We know that for every clockwise encirclement of negative 1, n equals 1. And for every counterclockwise encirclement, n equals to negative 1. So if this Nyquist plot encircles negative 1 one time in the counterclockwise direction, n is negative 1 plus 1 is 0, the system will be stable. How do we do that? The question is, what is the value of k that will make this system closed loop stable? We just answered that question. Notice that if we increase k, the size of the Nyquist plot is 0 here, we will stay at 0, and the Nyquist plot will expand to the left. When k equals to 0 0.5, the Nyquist plot is here at negative 0 0.5. So if k equals to 1, the Nyquist plot will pass through negative 1. It will expand and pass through negative 1. So which means that as soon as k is greater than 1, then this Nyquist plot will go to the right, to the left of negative 1. Something like that. You see that this rotates in the counterclockwise direction. And this is for k greater than 1. This one was obtained for k equals to 0 0.5. At k equals to 0 0.5, we are 0 0.5. k greater than 1 will be to the left of negative 1. Now, when k is greater than 1, what happens? The number of unstable poles of the open loop transfer function is still 1 s equals to plus 1, but now n, the number of encirclements of negative 1, is minus 1. We have one encirclement, that's 1, and this encirclement is in the counterclockwise direction, hence n equals to negative 1. Now the number of unstable poles of the closed loop transfer function is z equals to p plus n, which is 1 minus 1 equals to 0. And the system becomes closed loop stable provided that k is greater than 1.